Hi, I'm Deborah Myberg and I'm with Mario Andrion from Castello di Verdona from Barolo. Now you produce Barolo and Barbaresco, I suppose somewhere somebody made a good marriage? Yes, <laughs> yes, we are lucky no, uh, to, to have uh, both uh, no, uh, a side vineyard and both uh, the main uh -huh. appellation. And that's because, uh, yeah, thanks to love, because uh, <laughs> the, the owners, uh, uh, Franco Bianco and Gabriella Birlotto, uh, Gabriella, she is from Verduno, so in the Barolo appellation, uh -huh. that uh, she fell in love with uh, Franco Bianco with from, Barbaresco. from Barbaresco. And, uh, <laughs> and so, thanks uh, to the love and the marriage between uh, Franco and Gabriella, now Castello Verduno uh, can show both uh, the, uh -huh. the, the main appellation uh, and uh, uh, using uh, uh, grapes from estate vineyards. That, you know, it's, uh, Definitely the first step of trying to have a very high hand level quality wine. Yeah. Well, the name Castello already indicates uh, something special in the history. So, yes. is this an yeah. old family property then? Uh, Castello, because actually we own a castle uh -huh. at the top of the village uh, of Verduno, and uh, it's a castle uh, that uh, was built already in the 16th century, and it was uh, property of uh, the royal family of uh, Savoy uh -huh. uh, until uh, the beginning of the 20th century, when uh, the Burlotto family, uh -huh. they both. Uh, the castle and all the property mm -hmm. directly from uh, the, 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 the king of uh -huh. Savoy and uh, they continue this uh, long tradition of uh, making uh, the wine because actually in the uh, cellar of, um, of the, the castle you know, the long tradition of making Barolo happened uh, for centuries. Yeah. Now Ferduno, can you help me better understand uh, what can you expect from the the uh, district. What are the wine characteristics from Verduno? Verduno definitely we can uh, we can say that it's uh, the most elegant uh, elegant uh, expression of the Barolo, mm -hmm. and that's because it's, uh, the north, right? it's the yeah. northern uh, part of the mm -hmm. Barolo appellation, and uh, uh, because uh, you know generally speaking we can say that uh, in the Barolo area we have limestone soil, mm -hmm. but uh, also in a general way we can say that uh, it changes uh, the, the the percentage between uh, culture and clay. So where you have more calcium, you have more structured uh, wines, uh, firm tannins. Where you have less calcium, you have uh, more finesse and more, uh, you know, elegant and velvety can tannins. Can you tell me, I know you studied enology, can uh. you tell me why that's the case? Why does calcium give more? That's, you know, uh, it's really, uh, why does that happen? The, 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 the calcium, uh, it's uh, allowed uh, not the plants uh, to bring uh, you know, power no, from the soil elements mm -hmm. and so to ripe uh, the, 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 the nebbiolo in a different way. Uh, so Verduno, uh, it has uh, this characteristic uh, to show uh, an expression of uh, Barolo uh, very elegant and uh, with uh, uh, smoother tannins uh, uh, than uh, other part of uh, the Barolo appellation. But at the same time, it has a very long longevity uh, connected to the acidity because uh, most of the uh, vineyards in the uh, Verduno area, mm. it has uh, yeah. no, quite, quite a high elevation, high elevation and so that's allowed to have a good acidity. And lo and you're also having a bit of fun with a variety that uh, a little piccolo, with, uh, yeah. what's it called again? Pela Verga Piccolo. Pela Verga. Pela Verga. Ah, yeah. The pronunciation so is not so easy. Of this it's very because uh, uh, Pela Verga Piccolo is an indigenous grapes uh, that you can uh -huh. find only in uh, our little tiny village. And when I mean little tiny village, <laughs> it's very little because we are 500 people living there. It's very uh -huh. small. And uh, the the, the, the hectares uh, of uh, planted of uh, Pelaferra Piccolo you can have only in, uh, in that area. Anywhere else, uh, nor in Piedmont, uh, nor in Italy, this nor in it. the world. This yeah. is it. And uh, with those grapes, Pelaferra Piccolo, uh, in the 1995 uh, we were able to get uh, the appellation Verduno DOC. Mm. And it's a very unique wine that it's uh, quite unknown, but right now, thanks uh, no, to me and also my colleague, uh, the, um, producer in, yeah. uh, in, in Verduno, you can find almost all over the world. Almost. Well, I'm glad we can now find it here. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to trying this uh, interesting variety, and of course, I'm always happy to have a glass of bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> my pleasure.